What's up guys, Duarte here with another Marvel Sec Force video and in this video we're going to tell you how to cheat the system and get to level 100 faster. We are also going to break down the race to the top event and the blast off to 100 and how you can use multiple tricks in order for you to exploit these events, get more progress, get to level 100 faster and get additional rewards. Also, we're going to take, talk about the Nova event where you can get diamonds for Nova. But on top of that, you can also get diamonds for other characters and a ton of Dark Promotion credits. So this is going to be an extremely important video as we have the data mines of Red Stars to Super Skull coming up soon. So you want to make sure you stock up on as many Dark Promos as possible. So as always, if you like the information on these videos, make sure you share it to your friends on Facebook and Discord. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe for more Mouse Force content and make sure you smash that like button like a boss. Okay, so these events are going to be extremely important. We have very unique rewards that we can access to like the golden skin for apocalypse i'm definitely going to try to get this one but this is going to require us to get to level 100 so is they is it possible according to some content creators is not going to be possible but if you guys pay attention to my channel you should have been saving your campaign energy right you should have been saving your isolate energy which i have not been but i will explain why in a second and if you have been saving these different types of energy, then you're going to have a huge jump start compared to other people. 6,000 energy, that's pretty much five days of advantage or six days of advantage over other people. So you are already one week ahead. Now, we're going to talk about the different situations which will require a lot of planning. So this is definitely something for... Uh, for people that really want to get an edge over everyone else. Okay, so we're going to start off by taking a look at the event for Apocalypse. So the event for this Apocalypse skin is going to require you to take five characters, Bio, Mystic, Tech, Mutant, and Skill, all to level 100. If you get up these characters, you're going to be able to 100% complete the event. There are no more points or less points and um, i doubt that you'll get uh, offers for this event because what you need to progress for this event is just to level up characters so this is going to be based on how much commander level you can acquire according to the math of some other people you you can get easily to level 98 and uh, that's not enough right the level 98 will allow you to get one diamond on uh, sunspot but of course we're going to try to maximize this event and we're going to use different strategies in order for doing that in terms of the other rewards we also have a bunch of raid gear which right now we are all with very low raid gear and we are very very close to gear tier 19 so it's going to be extremely important we have iso to level 5 and we also have uh, mega gold orbs which in my opinion does not have a lot of value but we're going to require this gold anyway to to level up characters so it is good anyway now this event will not have a leaderboard so what you see on the screen is what you're going to get so the the investment that you do for this event is all to get to commander level as high as possible and we're going to talk about that in a second now we have to take characters to level 100 right we were just talking about that we are going to talk about the best characters for you to take to level 100 we're going to talk just about five but of course then you can figure out the the other ones as well so the best mutant you can take to level 100 it's going to be apocalypse right apocalypse is one of the best characters in the game so you definitely want to take him then you have castro she's also one of the best characters in the game these characters that we're going to mention they are all probably going to be required for dark dimension 7 so you are just uh, speeding up the process then we have dormammu and then we have uh, super scroll so all of these characters are mythical all of these characters should be used in dark dimension 7 and they should be your priority to get to level 100 first now we're going to talk about dr doom and dr doom 
it's a problematic situation. So with Kestrel, she has dual tag of skill and tech. So that means you're going to cover two of the tags that uh, we have to level up anyway. Dr. Doom is on a similar situation. The problem with Dr. Doom is that the more you level up Dr. Doom, the less useful he becomes. So in this specific scenario, where my Dr. Doom is already too big, is gear tier 18, is six red stars, is isolated to level five, is is a trap character so i would definitely recommend you to invest on castle invest on dormammu but dr doom is a trap character because the more you invest on him even that he has the dual tag that's going to cause you a lot of problems in alliance wars and cosmic crucible because you can just not activate his passive so yes it's true that you're gonna save a little bit of gold like six million gold maybe it's not worth it guys the problems that is going to cause to you is just not worth it in another video, we'll talk about which are the other top four characters of each type that you can get up, but we're going to skip that for now. Let's move on to the next topic, which is going to be how you can complete the event for Nova as well. So for the Nova event, where you can get diamonds on Nova. And by the way, guys, not a lot of content creators out there getting diamonds on the characters free to play. I think only me and Mr. Artgrave have been able to get these diamonds for free or at least for a very low cost. And a lot of people in my chat and a lot of people on my Discord that follow my advices also have been able to get diamonds on these characters. So I think it's going to be nice for you to, to follow along. Okay, so if you want diamonds on Nova, the scoring system is very simple. We just had an event like this for Sunspot, where we went to spend energy on the Isolate campaign. Well, this time we have to spend energy on the normal campaign. That's pretty much it. I'm expecting the multiplier of the, the, the points to be by six. We'll see that uh, in a couple of hours. Uh, you should definitely join the live stream where I'll break down all this event uh, even further and see which are the best offers in case you want to, to get uh, ahead with that as well. We're going to break down all, all of that information in the live stream, so make sure you join in. But uh, this one, I expected the multiplier to be of 6, and it's going to be pretty much the same as the Sunspot event. So if you are lucky enough to complete the, sun, the Sunspot event like I did, you should be able to complete the, the Nova event as well. This Nova event is going to give you very juicy rewards. We're going to get a ton of Dark Promotion credits. Once again, we are trying to maximize the amount of Dark Promotion credits we have so we can get a Super Scroll to 7 Red Stars. And we also have uh, Diamonds for other characters. So this is definitely welcoming for everyone. Isolate to level 4, Isolate to level 5, and the Dark Promotion credits for everyone and their mothers. So once again, this is definitely one of those events that you should try to complete as much as you can. And even if you are not able to get top 1000, the top 1% and top 3% are also very good. So this is definitely something that uh, you should uh, appreciate. Okay, so with all this in mind, let's take a look at the numbers really quick. So in terms of the blog posts, let me see if there is any information on the blog posts. So we have uh, the event for Apocalypse. Once again, this is going to to just to be about leveling up you can see the rewards right here we already break down all this information we are we're gonna take a look at uh, how you should spend your energy i think that's important but uh, this information we already broke down this one okay we are back to the blog this is about the nova event you can see the diamonds right here then uh, there will be a, a web milestone that all you have to do is just to play in raids and you have to play in raids 10 times and this repeats six times so make sure you go to the web store to collect these every time and also make sure you collect the free claims as well because a lot of people forget to get those free claims and then with the leaderboard for nova we're going to be able to get diamonds and uh, then also dark promotion credits and iso to level five which we already saw so all of this is pretty nice okay so let's take a look at the math for the apocalypse event and then the other events as well and how you should be you need to be very very careful with how you spend your energy going forward so let's take a look so for a level 100 you can see the points right here it's all about getting to that level 100 what are the ways for you to get to level 100 faster i think that's going to be a good point to talk about so 
how you can get experience so you can get experience by spending campaign energy isolate energy you also have the incursion energy and by the way some people out there i'm not sure if it was porky pad or someone someone else that said that this gives less experience it's not the case yes you get less energy per power core but after you get more experience you get double of the experience so the incursion campaign gives you as much energy as any other campaign it's up to you to decide so we have those three type of events that we get energy for but if you are lucky enough to afford the the newest characters you can also participate on these campaigns and they will also allow you to get some extra experience it's not going to be a lot this one gives a little bit less and the power cores also don't give you a lot of experience it's a one for one like it's like the other ones it's pretty much a one for one so it's up to you to decide just how many power cores you want to spend per day now something you have to be very careful is that right now we have these offers in game that if you spend a bunch of power cores you're gonna get more energy it's not worth it guys this is a trap this is definitely a trap for your power cores don't do it okay so with this in mind now that we know where are the best places to get energy the maximum you should do is spend 50 power cores four times on each of these campaigns only if there is double experience so right now we have an event for xp throttle times two but there will be soon a times three and a times four so what i'm gonna tell you and this is what i'm gonna do myself is to stock up my iso 8 energy stock up my incursion energy and just spend them if there are events. If there are events, we're gonna spend them. If there, are, there is a XP throttle, then you're gonna spend it as well because all the energy we save it, you're gonna get double or triple or quadruple of the value, even that we didn't spend early on, right? So does it, once again, let's try to, to understand this, right? We are not gonna spend it today because you'll get a double or triple or quadruple of the value in the near future throughout the next 40 days we are definitely going to get additional events like the this one we have going on right now so we can level up faster this is something that scopely has done in the past so don't go crazy and spend all your energy right away the incursion energy and the isolate energy because once again you can capitalize later on if you are just a little bit patient. I think people are going to be making a huge mistake, like spending right away all their energy and all their power cores, and then, oh, it shows up the XP throttle, and then uh, you cannot capitalize on it. So this is going to be a major exploit. This is going to be how you cheat the system in order for you to get uh, more points for uh, these, these, uh, the level up event. And also to level up yourself, right? Because throughout the next 40 days, you definitely want to get to level 100. Okay, so beyond that, we can take a look at the math for the Nova event. And uh, with the 6,000 energy that I already have saved, I'm going to be able to get uh, 36,000 points, expecting that the multiplier is going to be of 6 points. Then we have the web milestones, we're going to get uh, 38,000 points. And then the daily energy going forward, spending 200 power cores per day, you're going to get 46,000 points. So if you want to spend more power cores, go ahead. I would be very careful with my power cores because we also have these data mine that uh, we have soon and this is another trap guys this <laughs> this game is full of traps that's why you need to pay attention all the time so you have gear explosion so from specific nodes you're going to be able to get more gear three times more gear so this is definitely a time where you want to spend your normal campaign energy then we have uh, the rising gold from campaign nodes this one i would ignore energy overload this is what this is extremely important the energy overload if you are spending your 50s or your 100 power cores, you're going to get the same amount of value. So this is absolutely great in case you guys want to get some additional energy. And then be careful with this one. I think this one is the biggest trap, Geology Bounty, because this isolate energy event will make you think, oh, I'm going to spend my isolate energy, right? Because I'm going to level up and I'm going to get more isolate crystals. No, this is a trap. <laughs> We're going to get another event where you need to spend isolate energy like we have the sunspot. And once again, if you have the XP throttle, you are not going to get additional experience, right? Unless the isolate event matches this one. Because if it's not the case, 
then the Scopely is just laying you different traps for you to fall on, and you're not going to be able to capitalize and double up, triple up, or quadruple up on your energy. So be very careful with these bait events. The gear one, I think it's okay in case you are low on bio gear, for example, like myself, but everything else, be very, very careful. The energy overload, I think it's fine because you are getting double of the value of your power cores. But beyond that, be very, very careful. It's not going to be worth it. Okay, guys, so that's what you have to do in order to be successful on these upcoming events. I think these events are going to be extremely important. And once again, there will be a big difference to the people who are paying attention to the good advice and the people that are paying attention to the bad advice. But uh, that's not up to me to decide. It's what everyone has to decide for themselves individually. So for the next upcoming days, Spend the bare minimum of isolate energy to complete uh, your daily challenges. This should be 36 energy, it's just three nodes and that's it. Spend your normal campaign energy, if you will, so you can also double up for the Nova event. But then uh, you should be stocking up on your isolate energy and your incursion energy. So whenever the XP total events show up, you can really boost the progress of your, of your account forward and reach that level 100 within the 100 days time frame. If Scopely is making the event like this, it's definitely because it's possible. And we have seen this in the past because once again, we are getting these diamonds on the, the big mythical characters for free. And that's usually a good sign. So there you go, guys. This is how you can cheat the system and get to level 100 faster and get all those juicy rewards. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you smash that like button, like a boss. And as always, if you find information on these videos helpful, make sure to share this video with your friends on Facebook and Discord. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe for more Mouse Force content. And I will catch you guys later.